Here we go. It appears to be locked. That's a jewelry box. Click on the dials to turn them clockwise. Each dial has a unique control. Line all the markers up so they point vertically to open the box. Okay, so... So this one controls the first and second one. The second one goes all by itself. And then... The third one gets all of them to move. So, first off, get the first one to move, then that one. There we go. I say, Holmes, it really quite baffles me that a thief would take the most recognizable pieces of jewelry and leave behind so many other items of value. Hmm. Maybe it isn't a thief. If you would prefer not to see the evidence-related dialogue when finding items, you can select the summary screen option from the options menu. Okay. Um, I'm going to see them just because I like it when they talk like that. Um, oh, there's a spoon right there. See, what else do I need? Two teacups. Okay, a teacup shouldn't be too hard to spot. Oh, there's a tulip. Okay, what, what is it? That's not a teacup. Oh. Mouse trap. There it is. Found it. That looks suspicious, but it's not actually what I'm looking for. Oh, there's a tulip. Oh no, there's a pipe. Oh. Huh. Oh, there's a teacup. Oh, there's two! Wow, that was... That was tricky. Mr. Brantley usually retrieves the tea tray at dinner time. Your butler? Yes, for the last 12 years. Okay, so he's been there for 12 years. I doubt it'd be that guy, but it could be. Okay, where's this mouse trap? Mouse trap's gonna be, like, impossible to find. Anything here? Huh. Is that a tulip? No. Might have to use a hint here pretty soon. We'll see. I do like this whole magnifying glass. Oh, there's a mouse trap. Didn't even see that. Oh, silver spoon as well. Saw that one right away. After I saw it. Those spoons must have been left by my maid. Miss Michaels was polishing the silverware this afternoon. Huh. Or it could be her. Now I'm looking for a tulip. Tulip, tulip, tulip. Um. Problem is, is tulips are multiple colors. So I wish I was actually looking for... No. Oh, there's, there it is. Okay, good. Found it. Found everything. Freshly cut tulips from your garden, I presume? Yes, my gardener, Mr. Green, planted the bulbs last September. Hints found. Hints used. Nope. Bad form, Holmes. Not informing us of your theory. You know my pride, and I hate to expose myself to ridicule until I am certain of success. Your ladyship... Do excuse us. Watson, let us return to Baker Street at once. Okay, so now we go to 221B Baker Street, the home of Sherlock Holmes. All these suspects had the means, motive, and opportunity. Let's arrange the pictures to fi fit the descriptions to reveal the culprit. Okay, now this one... Select pairs of suspects to swap positions. Arrange all suspects according to the row and column descriptions. So, the female needs to go up here. They're both female. So first of all, let's get all the females up here. White hair is right. Um, oh, white hair is right here, so... I must say, that was excellent. So perfect! Now that we've correctly arranged the suspects, we shall eliminate them one by one to reveal the true culprit. Let us review the evidence that implicated each suspect. So Tulip, um, Scones, pretty easy. Their coachman's got the gloves, Butler's got the teapot, she's got the spoon. So what we do is we find the difference. Yep, which was the teapot. Okay. Uh... Oh, the gardener has a pie, because he has a dew pie. Yes. Her, of course. Him, of nice course, with the letter. 
Her with the key, <laughs> which only leaves the Empress of Persia. All right, let's continue. Your ladyship, I am happy to return the Zooch Emerald. But how? And you promise to identify the thief? As to that, I draw your attention to these distinctive white hairs caught in the clasp of the mm. brooch. The Empress of Persia? Indeed. I was able to retrieve the brooch and the catnip toy from the mouse hole. And I dare say, someone with better tools might find more in there as well. I'm simply speechless. How appropriate. Seems the cat's got your tongue as well. Congratulations. Ah, ha, ha. Cool, best time. 544. Not bad. And I got the Sherlock bonus cap. So that's good. 